What is going on guys and welcome to a special 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 upload. Today officially marks the five year anniversary for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, now we're going to talk a little, we'll be talking a little bit more about this as we go through this. Uh, so they just released this uh, maybe an hour ago or so. I actually have no clue when they released it. But so far I'm just going to be I'm just going to be posting my, uh, saying my opinion about the game, etc. as we go through. So let's get right into it. 87 million characters are living their life in this Star Wars story. 42, 42,175,031 people are defending the Galactic Republic, while 33% of those are Jedi Knights, 28% of those are Jedi Consulars, 20% uh, are Galactic Republic Troopers, and 19% are smugglers. Now for the Imperial side, we have 43,710,711 fighting for the Galactic Empire, while 30% of those are the Sith Warrior, 29% of those are the Inquisitor, and 22% are Bounty Hunters, as well 19% are the Imperial Agents. As we go through, um, players spend over 1.5 billion hours choosing their path, over 340 hours of voiced storytelling equal to watching all Star Wars films. That is incredible. All seven Star Wars films. <laughs> it's just incredible. Now, <clears throat> Star Wars has been in my life ever since I was young. It all started with, of course, you all know, Clone Wars Adventures. Now, during that time... I actually was playing Star Wars The Old Republic uh, before Level Sync, before any of that. I believe it was at the time where Rise of the Hutt Cartel had just released, <clears throat> and the level cap was only 55. Now, at that time, uh, I actually took a very, very, very long break from SWOTOR because the gear that I had, I never understood how those worked. I never understood the abilities, anything like that. It was just super boring to me. Until I started getting older, I was like, I finally realized what I'm doing wrong. Uh, eventually, I did come back after Clone Wars Adventure shut down for good. I came back to SWOTOR, and I started doing a lot more than I ever imagined on doing. I said this before to a couple of my friends. If that game was still alive to this day, I would not have as many characters as I do now on the Elder Public up to level 65 or 70. I would have never had those. Not even anything at all. I gotta say, though, a big shout-out goes to whoever the fuck does his artwork for Star Wars Old Republic. If you are watching this and you're the artwork director or the artwork creator, whatever, of Star Wars Old Republic, I salute you. Because the artwork you do should be in fucking museums. I'm not even shitting you. The artwork that I've seen so far has blown my mind. Including with the Eternal Throne. It is just so beautiful. So, so incredible. I really wish I had this talent. I really, 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 really wish I had this talent. Because if I did, you know, I would be doing all sorts of art, artistic stuff with my characters. And putting them online. But whoever you are for doing this artwork, keep up the good work. I mean, keep up the good work. Because you, sir, or ma'am, are fucking brilliant. I'm not even shitting you. It is just incredible. The best artwork that I've ever seen in my life. Now, as we go through, we got this five-year anniversary rewards. As you can log in between December 13th of 2016 up to January 16th of 2017, you can get all these uh, five-year rewards. You get the five-year anniversary celebration Jawa. Uh, this does also count towards a achievement as well. Keep forgetting which one it is. I'm, I do apologize for that. You also, we also get the uh, Senya Hollow statue, which is nothing special. Uh, nothing new. I mean, it is special to me. Uh, nothing new as for training. It's just a reskinned training uh, hollow projector. We also got the seven-piece poster art collection for zero credits. They're all free. Uh, from the original launch art to the latest Knights of the Eternal Throne expansion art, you can walk down the memory lane and save a wall in your stronghold for this breathtaking first ever seven piece poster art collection. Now the art collection does contain 
as you can see here, it does contain the original launch of Star Wars The Republic. You got the Rise of the Hut Cartel expansion. You got the Galactic uh, Starfighter expansion. You also got the Galactic Stronghold expansion, I believe. Yes, uh, Galactic Stronghold expansion. You also got the Shadow of Revan, and then it boosts to Knights of the Fallen Empire, and then Knights of the Eternal Throne. I gotta say, too, as well, before I move on any further, whoever did those artworks, whoever invented these art frames into the game, you're my best, you're my best person ever. I'm not kidding you. Those artworks are so fucking beautiful. They're so tremendous. I just want to put them everywhere in every stronghold. And that is literally the best that I've ever seen before. That is just purely the best artwork that I've ever seen. And as well, you can also get your own Coruscant and Drummond Cost Stronghold for only 5 credits each. Now as we move down, we have the biggest, biggest collage project that Bioware has been working on for a very long time. So let's get right into it. To celebrate over 87 million uh, unique characters created all by you, we've created the SWOTOR 5 character portrait collage. Shall we look into this? I think we shall. Now here's the artwork right here. It is beyond beautiful. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Damn! Let's actually download the full entire version. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's try that. See if that'll work. Yeah. Bear with me for a minute. Wow. <laughs> that is... Wow. wonder if you can... Whoever did this, man, I... Wow, this is, <laughs> I have no words. I really have no words at all. And I can guarantee you 100% I'm going to be looking everywhere for my character. I don't care. <laughs> I think my character was on uh, Odessa too at the time. But damn, all of these people. Everyone that you see here is in the game that has created their own character, has created their own legacy. It is just beyond perfection. I don't know how you guys have managed to do this. I really don't know. Because I wouldn't be able to. I really wouldn't be able to do this. But, jeez, man. I This collage is just super fucking tremendous. I honestly do not know how many people are in this collage just alone. Because you have so much of them. All the way down to the very, very bottom, too. I'm super glad, however, when I zoom in, you can actually see the characters. So I'm super glad about that. Um, but yeah, if you do, if you find your character in here, definitely uh, tell me in the comments below that you found him. Uh, which, is, which will be definitely tremendous, because there's so much searching you'll have to do through this. And... Uh, I just, I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know what to say. I do hope SWOTOR does keep living on for quite a long time. I really do hope that they at least have another year or so into them. Because if they don't, man, I this is the only game that is still keeping me to this day intrigued with Star Wars. I mean, this game is has been everything to me. And it's just tremendous. It is just really, really tremendous. So definitely go ahead and go check this out yourself too, man. It is just beyond anything that I would have expected. Um, if you guys want to check out the website, the full website, uh, it's swotor.com slash swotor5 slash collage dash project. It's got highlighted in the bar uh, above here and then you can go ahead and check it out and then you can watch some uh, highlights of the game itself that's about it so if you guys enjoyed this video a big shout out to you SWOTOR for continuing living on